Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create what I call a USB boot disk. And the idea is that, especially if you have older Intel Macs, if you want to access the data on a computer and for whatever reason you can't get into the main operating system, maybe it's corrupt, maybe there are issues, then what you can do is to create an operating system boot disk using a USB flash drive. And we basically use internet recovery in order to install macOS onto the external USB drive, or you just want to make a new time machine backup, then you can do all of this using the USB boot drive. So the first thing is that we need a drive which we don't mind wiping completely. So make sure that this is something that you don't have any essential data on. And what I do is to plug it into the side of the computer into one of the USB ports. Then we're gonna press the power button here and hold down the option key. So I'm gonna hold down our option key here. And when we have this boot menu come up, what I'm gonna do is to press Command R. That's gonna put us into internet recovery. So I prefer doing it this method because sometimes when you hold Command R, it doesn't register and it tries to boot up again. But if you hold down the option key, then you kind of know that it's gone through that boot process. So at this stage here, we need to enter our network. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter our local Wi-Fi network, or you can plug in the ethernet cable into the side port here. So when the globe is spinning, it means that it's downloading the internet recovery partition. What you should do is make sure that you're charged and plugged in because this process might take a bit of time. So once we've logged into the recovery partition, we can go ahead and install macOS onto this little thumb drive here. So the way to do this is that we're going to click on disk utility here and press continue and then it's going to scan for all of our drives. So the Macintosh HD is the internal drive here, which we wanted to make a backup of. And the USB drive here is the one that we're going to install a new version of macOS on so that we can go ahead and log in and see where the data is. So I want to click on the SanDisk Cruiser drive and click on the Erase button here. And we're going to call this one USB drive. We're going to save this as a macOS journal drive and then press Erase. So before we do this, just make sure there's no important data on this. This is just going to be used to install macOS on. So I'm going to press the Erase button. So once it's done, I'm going to press the red close button here, and then I'm going to click the button Reinstall OS X. So if you might notice that this is the original recovery partition for this particular MacBook Pro. So this is probably macOS 10.8, but it doesn't matter for the purposes of this, we're going to be using this to do the boot recovery drive. So I'm going to press Reinstall OS X, press continue, and we're going to make sure that it's giving us an error message because it can't connect to the internet. I'm going to go to the Wi-Fi menu here, and we're going to collect to, and we're going to connect to our Wi-Fi network. Also, if you have any trouble connecting to the Wi-Fi network for whatever reason, you can always plug in an Ethernet cable. And as long as this is connected to your router, then you're going to be online. So we just need to press try again to continue. And here we're going to be reinstalling macOS 10.8. So this is the recovery partition that initially came with this MacBook Pro 2012. However, for the purposes of creating this boot disk, then it doesn't actually matter which version of macOS we're going to be using. So here we're going to press continue and then continue here. And we're just going to agree and agree here. And the crucial bit here is that we don't want to select our Macintosh HD yet. This might be a step towards actually repairing this computer. However, I'm going to install it on this USB drive first as a precaution so that we can log in and do a backup. So here I'm going to press install. And basically it's going to download the entire operating system and then install it onto this drive. So this might take a bit of time. It's saying 25 minutes, just depends on the speed of your internet connection. So just let that run and let it continue. So once that process is complete, it's going to map. So once that process is complete, it's going to automatically try to boot into the USB drive. And now it's doing an installation and it's going to continue the process of installing macOS 10.8 onto here. This is going to take a bit of time too. So now that the install process is completed, we're going to boot off this disk. I'm going to, so now that the install process is completed, we're going to do the full setup here. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to set this up as if it's a new computer. We're not going to transfer information. We're just going to get into the computer, skip all this stuff, continue here, just make an account and make sure that we log into the computer. So we're going to start using our Mac. So we're now logging into the computer. So we're now logging into the USB stick. So this is going to give us access to all of the internal files here. So, so if I go and open up Finder, so I'm going to open up Finder and you'll see here we have the USB drive attached. And I want to see what's on the internal drive. So I'm just going to open up Disk Utility. So I'm going to do a search. Do a search. I'm going to type in Disk Utility and find this in Finder. And what I'm going to do is to mount the internal drive. So this one has got FileVault enabled. So what I'm going to do is to control click on the drive 
click unlock. So if you don't have File Vault enabled, then you should just be able to find this through Finder, but I'm gonna open up this one using the local administrator password. So once the driver is mounted, I can go ahead and click on it in Finder, and then we're gonna find all of our user data here. So if we go into users, for example, then we're gonna be able to find our user folder, and then most users' data is kept within that folder. So we can go ahead and make a copy of that. So basically with this method, you can use Finder to drag and drop your files onto the USB drive, or you can even attach an external hard drive you can use Carbon Copy Cloner, you can use Time Machine. There are dozens of different ways to do it, but now you have the tools using the USB boot drive. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.